Saturday or Sunday, perfect weather. All that right. means 70, 74, 73 degrees. <laughs> a lot of sunshine. You can't beat that for November. Trust me. Right now, we're at 49, dew points 45. That's probably where we'll end up in the morning, mid, low to mid 40s. Humidity up to 86%. Winds dead calm. The barometer is steady pretty much. It's been that way all day long. 50 degrees out in Cumberland now, 57 down in Ocean City, Rehoboth. Coming to the cooler spots up in Bel Air at 44. 57 reported at Westminster, although I think that's bogus. 55 in, in East and 54 DC at Annapolis. They're probably in the 40s outside. That could be at the airport there, which, of course, tends to be a lot warmer. 71 38 today. Normal 61 39. The record's 83 and 24. Right now, we've got high pressure all up and down the East Coast. In fact, Goes out into the Midwest and Plain states where it's warm out there as well. Temperatures we're in the mid upper 70s in the Dakotas today. That means we're going to stay on the mild side. All up and down the East Coast, high pressure and control. Now we've got some clouds across the area right now. These are thin, high clouds, not going to produce any sh uh, shower activity, but there's a little bit of rain right along the coast from the winds coming in off the ocean, kind of forcing some shower activity right along the beaches there from Carolinas down to North Georgia and Florida area as well. That's not going to impact us at all. What we have is this high pressure dominating all through the eastern half of the country. A couple of fronts to the north of us, they're going to stay that way. We really don't see anything moving in our direction. Until the middle or end of next week, and that's when we'll see our first chance of shower. Okay, let's take a look at Ada. It's just beginning to move back into the Caribbean, probably going to become a tropical storm once again tomorrow. Continue to move off to the northeast, eventually into Cuba, may become a hurricane briefly, and then moving off to the west, northwest, into the Gulf of Mexico. May impact a little bit of southern Florida sometime later in the weekend or early next week before it heads. Believe it or not, it may impact once again. Louisiana and Texas can't cut a break this year at all. For us, we're looking for a punch of clouds overnight, about 44 by morning tomorrow, back up to 72, a nice warm afternoon. The sun should come back out. Low 70s this weekend, 71, 74, 72. Some showers possible late Tuesday, maybe again on Wednesday and Thursday. That's probably the best chance, but high of 66 even next week above normal. Back to you.